Hey guys, it's Danny the Traveler here with Rocky the Traveler and uh, welcome to another episode of the Rocky Road Show. Um, so yeah, last week was Rocky's 10th birthday and we celebrated it with a little cake and uh, some travels around here in Barcelona. He, he absolutely loved that cake and uh, he ate every single crumb of it. So yeah, we wanted to talk to you guys um, about our future travel plans and uh, you know, have a look back at uh, Rocky's 10 years. So Rocky is 10 years old now. Uh, he was born, I think, uh, the 20th of August 2008, which is, uh, it seems so far away. It's been an amazing 10 years to have him at my, uh, at my side. And um, you know, I, I, I got him, I found him from a family of bull terriers uh, in Indiana. And you know, they, they bred um, bull terriers for a long, long time. They had um, show dogs, they had champion dogs and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, um, as anybody who's ever had a bull terrier might know, um, you know, they're not easy when they're puppies. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, destroyed furniture, a lot of chewed up walls and, and drawers and, and, and cupboards and a lot of destroyed things, you know? But, um, you know, in the end, it's, it's really worth it. It's, um, you know, they turn out to be some of the most playful, one of the most playful dog breeds I've ever uh, come across. And, um, yeah, and, and apparently some of the best, uh, traveling companions so so even though uh, 10 years might seem like a long time um, Rocky still acts very much like a puppy and he still has this um, he's still this ball of energy and uh, yeah so it's it's why we keep uh, why we keep traveling and I think it actually keeps him young so I've had him since I was living in Virginia and uh, from there I, I moved um, I moved to Orlando which is my hometown at, when he was around uh, one or two years old and um, yeah, we stayed there for a long time up until about 2014 and when we moved to England. And from England, uh, we, you know, that's where Rocky the Traveler was born. And um, you know, it was just like a, a trip to France, a road trip to France that we managed to see Italy, managed to see um, Germany, Luxembourg, Belgium and all these other countries. And uh, I just started take, taking pictures of Rocky and taking some video as well. I was like, wow, this is so cool to... To, to be able to bring my dog to another country like this. Um, I think at the time, 2014, I, I didn't know that so many other people were taking their dogs to other countries. So I thought it was the coolest thing. Like I was like, well, who takes their dog to you know the Eiffel Tower, or, or especially coming from America? So I thought it was really cool. And uh, at the end of that same year, I, actually, I, I think around 2015, I, I took all these photos and I uh, started uploading them on Instagram. And uh, so a lot of people started to follow us, which is really cool. And I discovered there was a, a, a community of, uh, of bull terrier lovers, and uh, and so yeah, it's it's been awesome to have them follow us, and, and you know we follow them as well. Um, and so yeah, we, we love Instagram now, and we're trying to uh, we're trying to upload more videos on YouTube now to showcase our adventures uh, in a different way. So yeah, he's been with me uh, ten years um, throughout many moves, and um, yeah, he's always been by my side. He's the best traveling companion. And uh, like I said, at 10 years old, he still has lots of energy. And so we still have quite a few uh, places that we still want to travel to. Uh, first of all, he has his uh, European pet passport. So I would love to see all of the uh, 28 European Union states, um, or countries, sorry. And um, after that, we, we would love to see the, um, we'd love to go to the US. We'd love to go on a road trip and see the, uh, see the uh, continental 48 states and somehow find a way to go to uh, Alaska and Hawaii and complete the 50. So that would be really cool. And if it's possible, we'd love to, uh, you know, check out an Asian country or two or, um, or see a South American country, but I know those are pretty tough. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to figure out a way to get there. Um, those are our plans and um, you know, at some point I do want to adopt another Bull Terrier, um, maybe in, in another couple of years, who could, um, you know, maybe a, a mature one, five or six years old, and, and he could be really, he or she could be really good friends with Rocky. Um, and, you know, maybe, you know, we'll, we'll settle, hopefully we'll settle down at that point and uh, find one place where we want to stay and, um, you know, just explore that place that we're settled in. So, um, so yeah, that, that's, um, those are our plans. And yeah, we're gonna keep bringing you some uh, some awesome travel videos from Rocky's point of view, and um, show you guys that you know you don't have to leave your dog at home; that you can bring him with you, and uh, that your dog can be part of your adventure as well. 
So, um, so yeah, thanks for checking out the Rocky Road Show, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.